Around the early 1900s, two scientists named Walter Sutton and Theodore Bovary came up with the chromosome theory of inheritance. With this in mind, terms like genetic and hereditary information became more and more popular as scientists theorized them to exist in genes located on chromosomes. As we pulled into the 1950s, experiments and research had given clear evidence that DNA, which formed into chromosomes, was indeed the hereditary material. The race was on to discover more and more DNA. One of the greatest scientific discoveries in biology is credited to James Watson and Francis Crick, who found that DNA is a double-stranded helix. As we look closer into DNA, we'll find that there are exactly four different types of building blocks connected in linear fashion. We have given each of these building blocks abbreviations A, T, C, and G. The sequence of these letters make a huge difference in what the organism's genetic information results in. The two strands of the double helix are joined by specific connections that occur only between A, which is always paired to T, and C, which always pairs with G. These connections are how DNA is copied and preserved. So what's the process of transmitting information? Scientists refer to the term central dogma, which simply explains that DNA codes for RNA and RNA codes for proteins. Now RNA is short for ribonucleic acid and they carry out specialized functions that are essential for proper functioning cells. And proteins are crucial for the existence of cells promoting chemical reactions and sustaining life. The understanding of DNA helped explain how one cell can pass genetic information to another cell. As you can imagine, this DNA is incredibly complex when we are talking about humans. Our bodies do a really good job at copying DNA from one cell to the next. But can you imagine what would happen if a fragment of DNA copy were to be one off? A trickle-down effect would end up with an altered, unexpected result. For example, just imagine not having that one particular protein that plays a key role in building the structures to provide organisms with energy. Differences in DNA copies may result in differences in bird beak sizes and even giraffe neck lengths. It may also increase or even decrease fitness and survivability. Not all DNA mishaps always end up bad, nor are all of them particularly good. All we know for sure is that evolution exists thanks to these variations.